Lung cancer is the number one uh, cause of cancer death uh, in the United States as well as in the world. And the particular form of lung cancer that's particularly deadly is called KRAS-mediated lung adenocarcinoma, which is the form of cancer that was uh, the subject of this study. Um, in particular, uh, most patients uh, who are treated for KRAS-mediated lung adenocarcinoma uh, will respond to therapy, but eventually uh, often succumb to a relapse and with uh, resistant disease. In our previous studies, we had uh, identified a compound which is a potent inhibitor of PKC iota. So in the second part of our study, we asked whether this compound was effective in inhibiting the growth of KRAS lung adenocarcinoma, and we found that in fact it was. But we went further because many targeted therapeutics, such as a PKC iota inhibitor, for instance, can work better if they're used in combination with other drugs that target other molecular um, abnormalities in the particular cancer. So in this case, we actually showed that combining two inhibitors that inhibit different parts of the pathway that we discovered were synergistic in their anti-tumor activity. That is, they work better together than either of them alone. Using these two drugs, we found that we could halt the growth of KRAS lung adenocarcinoma cells, both in vitro in the laboratory as well as in preclinical models of the disease. The clinical implications of this uh, study could be far-reaching. KRAS, the, the gene, the oncogene that drives this particular type of cancer, has been uh, very difficult to therapeutically target. And in fact, tumors that harbor KRAS mutations are very difficult to treat. So one implication is that we now have a therapeutic approach that can specifically target KRAS-mediated tumors. Now KRAS is not only an oncogene, major oncogene in this form of lung cancer, but also other types of cancer such as pancreatic cancer and colon cancer. So there are other types of tumors for which this therapeutic approach may also work.